So let's all assume that you guys watched my previous video where I showed you guys how to find inspiration. Find people that you like and follow them on Instagram and or Pinterest because those are the top two places for me to find inspiration when it comes to curating my Instagram and keeping up with my theme. If you guys look at my Instagram feed, that's what mainly most of my pictures are. They're people who also have a similar aesthetic to me. So Brittany Stone with two Ys. So if you guys wanna follow me on there, definitely don't be afraid to go do so. It's the same thing on Pinterest. As you can see, my feed is definitely vintage, uh, creams, beiges, black, whites, and that's basically what I'm taking in on a daily basis, House of Aesthetics. I think you can find me by House of Aesthetics, yeah. So this is basically some of the things that I repin. So once you guys find your style and what kind of aesthetic you like, now it's time to edit your photos. So my two apps that I use right now to edit are Facetune and PS Express, so Photoshop Express, and then I also have In Light. So first I start out in Facetune and I'm just gonna crop my photo. And then the very first thing that I like to do is whiten anything that I don't want to be kind of like a tan or, you know, just whiten the things that I want to be white, basically. So I'm just gonna go to black and white silver and I'm basically gonna go to wipe and then clear and then I'm gonna apply it to the wall. And also while I'm in here, I'm going to add my filter. So the filter that I like to use is the one at the end called Beige 2. Ooh, there it is. So that's the original and then that's Beige 2. And I'll also go to Lighting and I will up the exposure of my photo. So maybe about there. Then I'll exit out and I'll... Oops. And then I'll go to details and I'll just sharpen any part of the photo that I want to really stand out. I mainly use Photoshop for its luminance effect. I think that's what it's called. But basically you just go to these three lines at the bottom and you go to details and then you go to reduce luminance and it'll zoom you in and this just helps you smoothen out your photo so it looks a little bit more um i don't know i just like the smoothing effect so, so this is the before and this one is the after so for this next photo i'm not actually going to crop it right now it's just zoomed in so you guys can see um, what happens when I do something so as I said before if there was something white in this photo that I wanted to whiten I would use that black and white effect But as you guys can see the only white thing is the magazine and the bowl and those are already pretty white beige effect like that Overexpose the photo and find where I like it to details and sharpen anything in the photo that I really want to stand out. So I want to sharpen my necklace. Luminance effect on this photo. So you go back to the three lines, detail, reduce luminance. Um, so then I find out where I like it and then I'll save the photo and it's that easy. So that is basically it for how I curate my Instagram photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, don't be shy. So that is all for how I edit my Instagram photos. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Also put down below what is your kind of Instagram theme or if you're even into Instagram. And also do not forget to have a great day.